from the day he was born. All that Matt Maher III knew was speed. In fact, his only memory of his father was from the day of his birth. Because that's the day his daddy ran out the front door. That didn't stop Maher III from pursuing his pickleball dreams. But then he turned 12, realized he was half black and he should probably play a cool sport. So he turned to football, where he started his college career as a Boise State Bronco, putting up nuclear numbers for a freshman and landing him the wide receiver one spot in his sophomore year at USC. And USC turned out to be an excellent decision. At the end of the season, they were ranked 11th in the nation. They finished nine and three and they earned themselves a spot in the college football playoffs. Today, gentlemen, we will play in our first college football playoff game in Road to Glory wide receiver, taking on Georgia, who is definitely going to be a really good team. We have six skill points to spend if we want to before this Georgia game. It would cost seven to max out hands, but I'm worried that if we don't use these and then we lost to Georgia, we'd regret not spending them. Elusiveness would give us agility, jumping, change of direction. We also could spend some abilities getting layout and recoup improved, although I don't see these being that important. I'm gonna use five skill points on elusiveness right here. I wanna have enough jumping to hurdle people, to be honest. Let's see what these five skill points do for us. Takes us to an 89 overall with 90 change of direction, 88 jumping. I hope this will be a little bit better in the open field now. And we'll need everything we can get for our first college football playoff game. Now taking a look at our first two seasons, Boise State, we finished with 84 receptions, 1,385 yards, and 16 touchdowns. Keep in mind all the stats you see here with Boise State, that is with one additional game because we had a bowl game at Boise State. What I did here at USC is with one less game, but I also have a chance to play three, even four more games if we go deep in the playoffs here. Our averages have gone up. We just didn't find the end zone as much. Not gonna lie, USC just has way more weapons than Boise State had. Boise State basically could hand the ball off to Ashton GNT or they could throw the ball to me. Those were their options. Whereas we've got a lot of dogs in USC. USC's roster's looking really clean. Miller Moss, an 87 overall. He's the second best player on this team. And then there's Kyron Hudson and myself, two excellent wide receivers on this team. We got Kamari Ramsey, Lake McCree. It's a really good team. The only thing is I know that Georgia is at least a 92 overall. So we're definitely gonna have a pretty big disadvantage in this game. I think I'm gonna need to step up and catch a few deep touchdowns if we want a shot of beating Georgia. In fairness, this is actually a low overall for Georgia in year, uh, year two. Dylan Fairchild, their left guard is insanely good. They have two God tier wide receivers. They have Isaiah Bond. Dude. Why does Isaiah Bond always transfer in Dynasty? He never stays on his team. Etienne's looking nasty. Uh, where's their quarterback? Though? Here's Gunnar Stockton, who's rocking an 84 overall right now as a junior. So that's probably good for us, that one of their worst players is actually their quarterback. 90, oh no. Look at their corner room, dude. Dude, no matter who's lined up on me, I don't think I can really burn him over the top. There's Dalen Everett, pack and play squad legend, 96 speed. Julian Humphrey's got 98 speed. Ellis Robinson's got 98. We're gonna have to be creative and create separation. I don't think I can just be a deep ball merchant today. It's gonna be too difficult. Georgia is probably the single worst matchup for us for this first round. So if we can get past them, I feel good. This is the game of the week. The number 11 Trojans taking on the number five Georgia Bulldogs. And you gentlemen are getting an extra episode. I'd like to say that's all for you, but I'm not gonna lie. This has been the most fun I've had on Road to Glory. And damn, do they have home field advantage too? There is no doubt in anyone's mind that Maher III is one of the best wide receivers in college football. But I know that NFL scouts are watching a big game like this. If you can put up big numbers on shitty teams, does that really mean anything? Today will be an excellent test of that. USC will start on offense. We're gonna have speed demon corners on us all game long. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna take a little... Maher, what am I doing? You can't start out much worse. Second and 10, take him outside. There we go. All right, it was a minor lapse in judgment. We're gonna be just fine. Third and one, and then blocker. Let's see if we can pick up a first down and keep these chains moving. I'm gonna go put my hands on a linebacker. First and 10, we got slants to the middle. Ooh, dropped by Kyron. We need you, Kyron. Second and 10, another slant. I gotta zoom this camera out so I can see how these linebackers react to this. 
Oh, great read. I like Miller Moss a lot, dude. No, I'm coming out. Coach, third and one, almost in the red zone. I think Coach is putting in a heavy set to try and pick up a yard. I gotta trust Coach more often. That was a good call. First and 10, there's a chance I'm on an island here. We can't call audibles. I just gotta hope that Miller finds me. Oh, I can have this. I could have this. Oh, they're fast. Shit. Any other DB, I think I housed that, but that was still a really good route. First and goal. Can we get this puppy in the end zone? Release into the middle. You see me? I'm gonna be totally honest. I completely tried to steal that ball from my teammate. 100% tried to take that from him. Importantly, USC's on the board first. Georgia responds and I'm press covered. Miller, Miller! That was such a good release. Shit. Great release. Now it's second and four. Good check down. That's a first down. Let's go no huddle here. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm pulled. Second and 14. Oh, you see me. Yup, let's use those wheels. The juke broke some ankles. I wonder if that's because we upgraded elusiveness. First and 10. We've got a really interesting route here. Let's just run it. Ooh, Ooh no. Miller! Oh, I'm fast, but I'm not that fast. They got so much speed on that team. And look who it is. It's the legend himself, Dalen Everett. Dalen Everett had so many interceptions for me in pack and play. And now he's ruining my life in Road to Glory. Second and nine, I think I just gotta take this game over. We're down by 10 to Georgia right now. You just gotta find me every time. Can I make a move? Damn, gotta make a better move on that. We're gonna run shakes here. See what this coverage looks like first and 10. Gotta use takeoff. See what kind of separation we can make. I don't hate it. So long as he's making a good read every time, I don't hate it. What is the play call here? Are we running the football? That was not the audible, but I guess it works. Third and four. Find me. Beautiful find, Miller. Coach is not making it easy. I'm getting pulled. I don't know if it's a stamina thing or just a personnel group, but we're cooking so much right now. I just can't have him pulling me. Second and 13. Oh, beautiful. No. Okay, it works. It works. Stop it. Why are you pulling me, coach? It's third and nine in a huge game around 10. You don't pull your wide receiver one right now. And they turn the ball over. What are we doing? First and 10. Oh, good. What a... Miller. Miller, it's a touchdown. Shit. Second and six. I'm getting nervous, dude. I want to get to the next round so bad. Waiting on this video will be for nothing if we don't convert here third and two and I'm getting pulled. Coach? Oh, I've had such a good season with, this is so ironic because all season I was wide receiver two. And when I was wide receiver two, I felt like I got more reps. First and 10. Good ball though, Miller. That's a great ball right there. I'm out again. In the college football playoffs, I'm getting pulled every other play. You know what that means, gentlemen? It means we gotta make the most of the plays where we're in and- Miller, hang on to the ball! Miller, I got so much separation. If you just hold that puppy for a second. Now you'll throw it to me. This is not going well. 7 to 17. I need Miller to hang out to this football. I know, though, it's Georgia. I know that D line's collapsing. I hear you. But that's what you gotta do, Miller! That's what you gotta do. I was cold after that drop, too, but thankfully we got that off. And I don't think that's the right audible. It's too loud here in Georgia. They got the wrong audible on us here. They're gonna run the ball. Shit. Nice run, though. Honestly, really good run play. Second and two. Beautiful. And I'll downfield block, baby. The block. Second and 11, I got a shot here. Miller, Miller! I torched him off the line. Oh my goodness, what a release. Miller found me. Beautiful execution. This game is not over. I got a touchdown, a drop, seven catches, and 114 yards. 14 to 17, another stop from the defense. It ain't over until it's over, gentlemen. First and 10, I can get him again. Miller! Miller! Same play! And honestly, I have no idea how he couldn't just grab me. It felt like he was inside of me that whole time. That's the last time I want another guy inside of me. No way you're still guarding me like this. You're still gonna come up all inside of me after I just bent that ass over? 
Oh my goodness, it's like you want it! Come on, Miller! Oh my god! No! <laughs> oh my goodness, we do, we're frying him. Heisman difficulty, by the way. I don't wanna hear, I don't wanna hear no shit about it. 21 to 20, a minute left in the third quarter. Matt Maher the third is putting up a historic college football playoff run right now. Can he cap it off with something beautiful? Good catch! I could have racked that, but I was just scared. If we can get a nice little escape route right here, this is another touchdown. First and goal, escape route. Where'd you throw? Touchdown USC, it don't matter! It's probably Kyron Hudson. A touchdown is a touchdown. Most importantly, we got to move past Georgia and we are cooking. Two touchdowns, 10 catches, 227 receiving yards. Georgia responds instantly. Not only that, but they went for two and they got it. It's first and 10. I've got a deep dig, but wow. Nice find. Second and 10, I get a deep dig route right here. He'll take the check down. Nice play. Third and six. Need a big one. Beautiful route. It was a beautiful route. If I ran that slant, I was running right into three linebackers. That was a great way to get the first down, but I'm getting pulled right now. I do not like this. I need to have some input on this upcoming touchdown. All right, I'm out for just one play. Second and eight. What can we get here? I like this. I like this a lot. Open field, a little juke. Megan Georgia looks silly right now. I swear, coach sees me get one good play and he subs my ass out. It's bothering me. Please just don't turn the ball over. Okay. We're chilling. We're all right, we did not turn the ball over. First and 10. I think the escape route's gonna get him again here. I just don't see how he guards it. Oh, he does. Oh, you still threw that to me? I was bagged up, Miller. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Second and 10. I'm going super zoom angle. I wanna see all of this here. I'm gonna motion myself down. Trying to create a little bit of space on this. Second and 10, what do we got? <gasps> Miller! Miller Moss, you homeless bum. Dalen Everett now has two pick sixes because Miller Moss doesn't know how to throw a football. Why am I not in the fucking game? Oh my God, so USC gets a pick six and then I don't proceed to come in while they put up two straight touchdowns? What the fuck are we talking about? I need to like view the highlights. I need to know what happened. So Miller Moss throws a pick six. What are you trying to throw? <laughs> Dog, how did you see this as open? He's got a halfback wide open and he throws this? Okay, whatever, that's fine. What do we do after? Because Georgia put up two more touchdowns. What a heartbreaking end to the season. I think I'm most frustrated that they gave me no opportunity. We went down by seven and then I had to watch the sim logic have us turn the ball over, Georgia score again, and then I just get to see the score at the end of the game. I don't trust USC anymore. Dude, coach had a hard on for pulling me out of that game. I'm wide receiver one. Why would you ever be pulling me? Unless I'm gassed, don't take me out. That's such a huge mistake. Our first college football playoff appearance is a loss to Georgia. Miller Moss throws two pick sixes to Dalen Everett to seal our fate. I cannot come back and play for him. I was thinking about coming back to USC, I can't. Now, despite that, we did have 12 receptions for 254 yards and two touchdowns. 21.2 per reception, two touchdowns. I did have two drops though. Maybe I should have saved up for hands, you know? So frustrating. Well, at least at the end of this season, we can really compare against Boise State since we had the exact same amount of games. So we had six more receptions, 220 more yards. We increased our averages and average per game, which was really important to me. Not as many touchdowns though. And we kind of noticed that with USC, I was getting pulled. I never got pulled at Boise State. They never took me out. My run after catch was lower, which is kind of shocking. And my longest reception was 75 yards. It's a tough season. I, um, I have a massive decision to make. A massive decision to make. Now I did enjoy playing with USC, but once I became wide receiver one, things actually went downhill, not uphill. So weird. So now we gotta decide who to go for and, and I think I need to go to an absolute serious powerhouse contender. I do not wanna deal with that pick six nonsense again. Ironically, we could go to Georgia. Isaiah Bond and Bell are both seniors, so they would be off the team next season. That would put me at either wide receiver one or wide receiver two. Oregon, Evan Stewart is a senior. So he's gonna graduate, but Zachariah Branch is now on Oregon. So I could go join my former USC guy. Oregon's obviously a powerhouse. 
I don't know though, that's a lot of competition. Those juniors are about to be seniors. I would be wide receiver three. I would feel like way too bitch made if I went straight to Georgia though, because Georgia just beat us. Am I gonna go join them? I'll pull a Kevin Durant. LSU is a team I have not yet played for. Not to mention that Thomas is a senior, meaning I would be wide receiver one right out the gates with LSU. They are virtually the exact same overall as USC though. So I don't know how big of an improvement this is. I think Notre Dame runs the ball a lot, but Notre Dame rocking a hard 90 overall. They could be nasty. What about Texas though? I feel like Texas would be so sick. We're in the SEC, so we're gonna play some scary, scary teams, but I'm the true wide receiver one at Texas. I kind of want to play for Texas. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Right now, I'm between Texas, Notre Dame, LSU. It's gonna be a really tough decision, but I'll have to make that before next episode. I'm sorry this was a short episode. I was hoping we could get past Georgia, but that was a pitiful way to go out. And unfortunately, we just gotta power through. Four skill points to spend. A brand new team next season for junior year. I want two national championships. I want one next year and I want one the year after that. I'm actually gonna put these four skill points in route running right now, now that I say it. I wanna get that overall up. That's crazy, it didn't change my overall. All right, gentlemen, I love you. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.